Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. welcome back, and today we're going to be discussing an in-depth review for Last Perdition 2.0. The description reads, can't outrun the ending. This has been a fan favorite, and was one of my favorite weapons from early Destiny 2. And now it's been brought back with Joker's Wild. This is a Crucible exclusive weapon from Shax, it can drop after a match, it can drop from a rank up, and can also drop from turning in Crucible tokens. I imagine this pulse will gain traction simply because it's in that 390 RPM pulse archetype, arguably the most well-rounded archetype. I do have an in-depth section for Headseeker Zen Moment, and Headseeker could actually be a viable option on it. I did look into it, did some testing, I got a consultation, and we'll cover what that perk exactly does in-game. The original role that you can still get from your collections has Rampage. The new role, the curated role for reaching Max Valor rank, has added Rangefinder to this Rampage role. On these 390s, Rampage is a really good perk for PvP and PvE, and the 390 frame is a very forgiving archetype and it hits really hard. As it sits currently, Bygones is the only 390 kinetic random roll, and for the energy category, we now have two options. The Swift Ride, and now the Last Perdition. In the description below, and also on screen right now, there is a link to the Swift Ride review if you missed it. This can give a player options, and a lot of players really like Bygones, so this can free up that kinetic slot, and honestly, since this does drop after matches, rank ups, has a set roll that you can get from Shax, this is something that you can continue to try to get good rolls for, and I already have a beauty. I have an Outlaw Rampage one that I got from a Crucible Rank Up package, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. For its base stats, it has a range of 50, stability of 66, handling of 59, reload of 53, aim assistance of 60, and a recoil direction stat of 63. Let's go ahead and put these numbers right next to the other randomly rolled 390s, the Bygones and the Swift Ride. Now, the stability and reload really stands out on Last Perdition. Every other stat's really good with comparison. The only one that's low that could be an issue is recoil direction. But with its fire rate, it's tolerable with what it does. We'll talk about its burst profile a little bit later on in the review, because that's really important to know. For the perks, we have three short zoom, three medium zoom, and three long zoom scopes. We have some fan favorites here for the short zooms, the SLO 12, 21, and 10 post. For the medium zoom, we have the SLO 57, 26, and 28 front. Now for the long zooms, I don't really recommend them, I never have. The flinch you receive is unbearable. Returning fire is miserable in all aspects of the game. I'm a fan of the medium zoom scopes on pulse rifles, and I've always recommended them. It really ups your effective range greatly. Now, in a perfect scenario, your role has a short zoom and a medium zoom scope that you can go in between depending on the map. You could run a short zoom on Javelin, Endless Veil, vale, things like that. And the medium zoom could go to Midtown, bigger maps. But those medium zoom scopes on these Suros pulse rifles are very clean, very open. And here's the difference. On my Outlaw Rampage role, I have the option of a short zoom SLO 21 post and a medium zoom SPO 28 front. The effective range at base, with no range perks added, is 37.5 meters for the short zoom and 46.5 meters for the medium zoom, a difference of 9 meters. That's how big of a deal it is. And again, this allows you to switch freely depending on the map. In the middle tier, it has a really good base magazine, so with all weapons like this and these perks that roll on these weapons, the top perks are going to be accurized rounds for range, steady rounds for stability, and then flared magwell for increased reload. Those are really great base stat add-ons. The others involve mag options, drop mag, appended mag, tactical mag, extended mag, alloy mag, on and on, yada yada yada. Choose one that best complements your role. So let's take the curated role from Shax. We have Rangefinder and Rampage. It has the option of accurized rounds or tactical mag. Now tactical mag will up that magazine from 39 to 42. You do have Rampage on it, so that gives you an extra burst. So you can kind of start fine tuning what you want to do. In the first perk column, we have six perks, Outlaw, Rangefinder, Firmly Planted, Grave Robber, Under Pressure, and Moving Target. But I want to talk about these individually, for PvE and PvP, because some fare better in the proper setting. When I use pulses in PvE, I think about hammering down shots all the way to the end of the magazine and then reloading. So let's start off with the PvE section with these perks. With Outlaw, it's always going to be good, get a fast reload on a headshot, it allows you to get those shots out a lot faster. Rangefinder, it's never a bad option, upping that zoom factor and the overall hit detection. Firmly planted, increases accuracy, stability, and handling when firing while crouched. Again, this works really well for PvE. You just crouch and spin the magazine. Grave Robber, you get in really good shots, and say a Thrall comes at you, you melee them and get a magazine refill. It's another workable, solid option for PvE. Under pressure, again, you spin that mag constantly, and as it gets lower, your shots are more stable and more accurate. It's a good option because you're always going to be getting to the end of that magazine. And then we have moving target. When you aim down sights, you move a little bit faster. This is never a bad thing. For PvP, these perks switch a little bit. We have Outlaw. Again, always great. Time is urgent in the Crucible, and landing a headshot to get a faster reload for your next engagement is going to be ideal. 
Now this is a pulse rifle, so that means the final shot of your burst has to land or the death dealing blow has to be a headshot. So just keep that in mind. Rangefinder, top tier for PvP, you add rangefinder to a medium zoom scope, that 46.5 turns into low 50s. A little over 50 meter effective range off of base, very good perk. Firmly planted, depending on how you play and how you go about your engagements, it could be a great perk for you or a horrible perk for you. This is going to be ideal for Spectral Blade Hunters. You're crouched using Firmly Planted, you get all those good buffs, trying to land a headshot for True Sight. Grave Robber, not so good for PvP. If this was, let's say, a 9 round hand cannon, then maybe. But you have a large magazine and Grave Robber won't come up that much, or isn't needed that much at all. Under Pressure, great perk, just like in PvE. As things get dicey towards the end of that mag, this thing really starts up in that stability, can help you out a lot. And the same goes for Moving Target, just moving aim down sight speed is going to be good for the Crucible. The second perk node has seven options, and again, we're going to separate them for different areas of the game. Let's talk PvE first. Again, Rampage top tier, gets a three stack going, you deal heavy, heavy damage, add a Rampage mod to get more out of it. We have Kill Clip, very good perk, but you're going to have to work with it. It's not as good as Rampage for PvE in my opinion, but it's a very solid option. High Impact Reserves, again, for PvE, we spin the mag, we reload. High Impact Reserves deals minimal damage at the bottom half of the magazine, but in my opinion, more damage is more damage, and that's how I look at it. Plain and simple, it works for PvE. Full auto, this is to the player. Some may need it, some may love it, some might not like it at all. I personally would prefer other perks in this slot. Snapshot, really not that good for PvE in comparison to even, let's say, high impact reserves. But it's a solid neutral perk nonetheless. I still would take damage dealing perks over this. Headseeker, not a bad option at all. If you start the burst at the body, each headshot after that body shot will grant you more damage. And again, you're constantly laying into enemies, you will miss shots. It isn't the best option, but it's definitely not the worst. And then we have Zen Moment, a top tier option for this pulse, and here's why. With Zen Moment, here's the deal. This is tied to your stability. The buff is capped out at 66% after landing 5 shots, so your second burst, after your second burst, you will feel Zen Moment in its maximum form. Now, a couple things to know. That 66% buff to your stability is tied directly to your base stability bar. The base stability stat of Last Perdition is 66, so this means that Zen Moment takes 66% of the base stat of 66, and then it's applied to the stability bar. If you add steady rounds, it bumps your stability to 81 from 66. It adds 15. But in Zen Moment's case, steady rounds is added on top of that, so Zen Moment will do the first addition to stability, 66% of 66. It adds that on after 5 hits, and then the added plus 15 from steady rounds comes after that. And again, the stability stat of 66 on Last Perdition is some of the best stability of the 390s. So it's a top tier perk. But another thing about Zen Moment is the duration of this buff is very short, like less than a second. So if you miss a shot, the buff will probably start over. So keep that in mind. For PvP, Rampage is very good. After a kill, you can two burst your next opponent. But you have to be very, very accurate. You have to land all headshots on that second enemy. Kill Clip is very good. You down your enemy, get a reload. Your headshot damage is now 41, so 123 for a full burst to the head. Very solid perk option. High impact reserves. Now on fast firing pulse rifles, they can get to the bottom of the mag very quickly, is a great option. However, the 390, it takes a little bit of time. The damage is incremental, but that extra damage at a pinch could be a difference maker. It's not at the top of my list, but it's not at the bottom of my list. We have full auto again to the player. This is a bottom tier perk for me, but it could be a top tier perk for you. Snapshot, it's never a bad thing for the Crucible, a faster aim down sights time. The base of this weapon is very, very strong, so making it more snappy isn't a bad option at all. But in this category, in this node, you're taking away the damage dealing perks of Kill Clip and Rampage. And then we have Headseeker. Here's the deal with Headseeker. It was a very good perk in Destiny 1 because it could, quote, save the burst time to kill. It's what I call the burst time to kill, or the shot TTK. At the start of Destiny 2, this wasn't possible at all because of the critical damage that we had. However, with the recent patch, we upped that critical damage. The 390 Pulse is the only archetype with Headseeker that can be beneficial. So we'll talk about it on paper and then in-game, and let me tell you, they're two completely different stories. Headseeker gives you more precision damage after a body shot, so let's walk through this. The time to kill for a 390 Pulse Rifle in PvP is 0.93 seconds, that's 5 criticals and 2 body shots. If you would go body shot, critical, critical, that's 82 damage. 20 plus 31 plus 31. You do it again, that's 164 damage. So at this point, to achieve your time to kill, we need to land another headshot of 31 to give us 195. Together, that's 5 criticals and 2 body shots. It's a very relaxed time to kill, and that's why a lot of people gravitate towards bygones and like it so much. The Swift Ride's the same, as well as Last Perdition. So in this same scenario, Headseeker does 33. 
So for body critical critical, it would be 20 and then 33 and 33. So that's 86 damage. You do that again, that's 172. So at this point, we've done the same exact thing as not having Headseeker. However, now your body shot of 20 will equal 192. 192 damage should down resilience of six or less. And what was once a five headshot, two body shot kill is now a four headshot, three body shot kill. And that's what I mean by saving the burst TTK, saving the shot TTK. And these 390s, again, are the only ones that can do it. However, again, in game, and I actually spoke with Mercules about this. I got a consult on it. If you don't know who he is, he's the mastermind behind the massive breakdown. He also went to work with Bungie as a gameplay specialist. So on paper, 192 is great. In theory, again, that should shut down six resilience or less. But in game, it actually gets three resilience or less. And let's remember, we have rounding with damage numbers. So I wanted to confirm, and he explained what's really going on here. The body damage is probably 19.1 or 19.3, but it rounds to 20 in game. And this makes a lot of sense because in the scenario of what we were doing with Headseeker that should be 192, if that body damage is that low, then the actual damage is 189.3 to 189.9. And guess what? That's right around three resilience. So what we can take away is that Headseeker can work on three resilience or less with a 390 RPM pulse rifle. And if you didn't have Headseeker, the last perdition couldn't kill three resilience or less. And you might be able to catch players every now and then running three or less. But again, on paper, it should have been a lot better than what it is, but it still does something. And then finally, we have Zen Moment. Zen Moment is a top tier option for the Crucible, as we explained in the PvE section. Very good, and it's gonna be sought after. My overall perk recommendation for both sections is gonna be your Outlaw with either Kill Clip or Rampage. That's gonna be ideal for obvious reasons. Now for PvE specific roles, the Curated Rampage Rangefighter that you get from Shaxx is going to be ideal. The second one is probably going to be firmly planted with Rampage or Kill Clip. And again, the idea behind that is you get really good stability while you're landing shots from a distance, proccing the damage dealing perks. Now for the Crucible, I'm going to say again, the Curated role of Rampage and Rangefinder. Very solid option for the Crucible. But a second one is going to be Under Pressure with Rampage or Kill Clip because Under Pressure just works with what you want to do with these two perks, especially Rampage. With one magazine after you down one enemy, as you're getting the magazine lower, you're moving on to your second person, it's getting more stable to try to land those six shots to two burst someone. But I also do want to state that Zen Moment overall is going to be a very strong option in the Crucible or in PvE. Same with Rangefinder, it can be paired with anything. So let's talk about both areas. In PvE, I really like that this is a Void Pulse Rifle. And with every weapon that you wield in PvE, the perks are what matters within the archetype. Rampage Kill Clip, all these damage dealing perks are going to be really good. And some neutral perks like Zen Moment are going to be good. But with Joker's Wild, we do have the Envoys. We have the Reckoning, and most of these enemies are Void. This makes the Last Perdition skyrocket as a workhorse with the right perks, with the right mods. The idea of laying down a magazine with Rampage is ideal. I'm so glad that they gave Rampage as the curated role from Shaxx. And that's why that role is very important. Mine has Outlaw, substituted for Rangefinder, which is going to be another great option. In PvP, it does 31 to the head and 20 to the body, and a 0.93 time to kill, 5 criticals, 2 body. We talked about it a little bit earlier. Very relaxed, a hard-hitting pulse rifle. It's elevated by its perks. When you get one to drop randomly, really think about what it's telling you. Most of the time, you can get a role that you can work with, but you might have to do something a little bit different that the weapon asks you to do. Maybe it's firmly planted with Zen Moment. That could be really good. You just have to work with it. It's a specialist at mid-range, and as we discussed with the scopes, you can work with close-range and mid-range engagements and choose those scopes depending on the map. It's a very complete weapon. It's a very good dueling weapon, just like Bygones. For your masterwork options, the strength is stability, so if you get a stability masterwork and have steady rounds, you're gold. You're looking really good. Remember, a higher stability groups your burst tightly, which is what we want to land more precise shots, but a ranged masterwork is going to be just as good. I would put stability at the top, though, for the mods, a Rampage spec for Rampage, but as far as like, let's say a Counterbalance mod, that isn't going to be a bad option at all because the burst profile moves slightly to the right in a predictable fashion. It's not all over the place, which is a good thing. I'm actually waiting for a Counterbalance mod or a Rampage mod to drop. Whatever comes first is what I'm going to put on it. I preferably want the Rampage mod, but that one's kind of tough to get. In conclusion, the Last Perdition is a workhorse. It hits all the right stats and it's elevated with other perks. On a base statistical level and how it handles, the bones of this pulse, if you will, is very sound. Perks just make it a lot better. It's a top tier option in my opinion for PvE and PvP. I think it's just wonderful. If you're new to the channel, thank you guys for giving my channel a chance and consider hitting the subscribe button. And to my subscribers, thank you so much. Please comment down below and don't forget to leave a like. But I would like to know what your thoughts are on Last Perdition. What roles do you have and what roles are you looking for? Thank you guys for watching and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.